What's good, guys? It's your boy, Reg McCoy, 21, with another video of Face of Franchise preseason week two. So um, week one was a pretty productive uh, pretty productive first out and played the first quarter. Um, you know, all passes completed and everything. Slight work <laughs> for, little, for RJ McCoy. But, I mean, hey, you know, uh, this week we got to look – we're looking at, you know, coming up against Kyler Murray, another first-round draft pick. So – we just, we just see what happens. Uh, y'all go ahead, like, subscribe to the channel, man. Y'all, um, you know, I'm going to keep y'all pretty updated on everything that we got. So, you know, y'all go ahead and enjoy the video. We're going to get right into it, see what we got uh, for expectations for this week for Coach Gruden. So let's get right into it. Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup. Between the Oakland Raiders and the Arizona Cardinals. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday night football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the Oakland Raiders. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you, and I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts, and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows that the NFL does. And you see the coaches in preseason after a loss jumping all over their guys. So I learned one valuable lesson. Wins and losses count no matter what time of year it is. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Offense. Trent Brown, give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Here's McCoy. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there. And, and he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of cobbling guys and bringing them along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away in the community's eyes and fan base. All right, nothing in the first drive. Let's see what drive two get us. McCoy looking left side and he's got a man this position just continues to evolve they become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Face Certainly mask. looked like it. Indeed, here come the flag. Took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. They go play action here on first down. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. There are so many things to watch here about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Shoves him away. Wiggles free. Give him 10 yards on the keeper. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are back. They'll run it. Here's Martin. 
And he has the first down before he's tackled. Engine, and now it's first and goal. Let's go, A.B. Now McCoy. That is caught by Brown. Touchdown, Raiders. A five-yard touchdown catch as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. They'll run on first down. Richard. And he's upended at the 33. Touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Get wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On third down. Richard, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35, but they do convert on third and inches. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. McCoy, and McCoy loses the football. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. Third down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. They challenged the play, it did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. Can you throw that flag? You probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Second down in inches. Going up top. This is caught. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Hunter Renfro, 33 yards. And the Raiders have taken the lead. And that time, he came out of the slot for that big play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot. Know that. the draw Richard and this one goes nowhere losing yardage back at the 12 so now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards from the gun McCoy out to the right here to Wilson and Cook last year he's now in New Orleans but Wilson five years in Seattle and then one in Detroit before the native of Windsor Canada signed with Oakland back in March he's got his man it's Williams and he will have him, give him six yards in the first down. Lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run, Martin. And this will be good for a pick great run, great run. to the 46. Some runs are blocked so in the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create He's going to come down on a blitz. We have A.B. Really wide open. Ah, a lot. It's intercepted. Wow. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. Wow. And they will score. It's a Can't make mistakes like that. On first down, Richard. And he's upended after eights right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Get their defense chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. He's going deep for Brown. Of course, and AD. He's going to be pulled in one handed. Of course, wow. AD. Touchdown, Oakland. Antonio Brown. 
ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. Start the drive with Martin. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play... And they still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Look no. Throw. McCoy, throw left side complete. That's good. First down. This quarterback now pretty amazing. 14 of 16 throwing the ball. It's first and 10. Back to throw. McCoy. Over the middle here to Brown. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders. I think right AB now. is ready. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosion. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. First down, McCoy. They'll roll him out right. Pass incomplete. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they're going to Cardinals' 15-yard line. They'll run on first down. Richard, and he's brought down just down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Rashard. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped to try to go draw play out of the gun down here. Yeah, they tried to spread things out, didn't they? They wanted to move people away from the center of the field, away from the line of scrimmage near the ball. And that's going wow. to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Jalen Richard there to make the grab as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL because this guy looks like he's wow. been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. All right, guys, so that wraps up another video, um, preseason week two. Of course, in that, uh, that game, man, we, we, we look great offensively. Four touchdowns from the rookie quarterback, man. Um, I mean, hey, I, I don't see what else you can really ask for. Coach Gruden, he, he already asked me, you know, how I feel about the receivers. Well, about the best part of our team, I say definitely receivers. You got A.B. A.B. went crazy this game. And you got Hunter Renfro as well. I feel like uh, another rookie coming in with me. So, I mean, I feel like he's definitely going to produce as well, man. So, you know, I'm anxious to see what the season will look like. Uh, but still, I got to win that starting job. So, R.J. Beard main focus right – I mean, R.J. McCoy main focus right now winning that starting job. So, I mean, hey, if he win that, Hey, Derek Carr, I don't know what you're going to do, buddy. But <laughs> four touchdowns from the rookie in the first half, man, that's hard to, that's hard to compete with. But, you know, y'all like, subscribe, stay uh, stay, fo stay focused on, uh, you know, I'm going to keep y'all posted on videos and everything. So, you know, y'all keep up. Appreciate it.